As a kid, I like to think that I was pretty rebellious, but deep down I always did what I was told. And I always went to school, I never skipped a day, and I actually got perfect attendance throughout the entire high school. I got an award for that, but then after high school, I said, that's it. I don't want to do what I'm told anymore. I don't want to have somebody telling me what to do all my life. I'm an adult now. And I worked really hard and went to school, and I tried to get jobs where I didn't have a lot of oversight, people telling me what to do. And then I landed a job where I was a contractor, where I had limited interaction with any superiors, although I did have to dress in a suit and tie. Well, eventually, I was able to work on my own, do my own thing. And about seven years ago, I decided that I was going to grow my hair out. Most of my life, I had a buzz cut, really short hair. And then I decided, hey, let's just grow it out. And this can represent me doing whatever I want to do and not having to answer to anybody else. My own job, my own boss. And today, after my hair has grown for seven years, and I've only had a trim once, I'm going to cut it. So this is how long my hair is right now. A lot of people don't know how long it is. It's pretty long. That's what happens when you grow your hair for seven years straight. I am going to a vegan salon. I met somebody at the Veg Fest this past weekend who happens to work at a organic vegan salon. So I'm going in there and I'm going to donate it. It goes as far as my arms stretch. Studio 32. We're a little bit early. Go. Uh, We're here. Yeah. Um, this is Amanda, and I met you at the Veg Fest a couple days ago. Yes, very exciting. And she said she had this vegan salon, and I said, "Well, I have ve vegan hair." So. <laughs> so we're like a match made in heaven. I've been mm -hmm. wanting to cut it for a while now. Um, but I don't really trust anybody, but I'm going to donate it. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to donate the minimum amount, which you said is like eight, eight inches. Eight inches. So I don't know how much that is. I guess we'll find out. Hope it's not too scary. It's <laughs> enough. It's enough. Yeah. yeah. What well, is Halloween month? So yeah. Yes. So. That'll be perfect. You'll fit right in. It's taken me seven years to grow this, but, um, so I guess, what do we, what do we do? Well, so get started. I'm going to get comfy. Yep. Whatever this, you need to. I got my Halloween shirt on. Worried about getting itchy. Take off. That's kind of cool shirt. It's got the Coca-Cola logo, but Halloween. Yeah. I almost wore my vegan Halloween shirt today, but it wasn't <laughs> washed, so I was like, it's okay. All right, so I'm going to have you have a seat. Okay. So this is part of the Halloween attraction, possibly, when I turn my chair. <laughs> oh, it doesn't creak with you. Oh, I'm normally, too heavy. No, no, no you're, too, you're too late. I'm too late? Oh. Normally it'll go, and I'm like, that's just part of the Halloween spooky um, attraction I have in here. You're welcome. And people think I'm nuts. Okay. Alrighty, so we are going to get you caped up and sectioned off. So I'm going to do a bunch of little sections of hair into rubber bands, okay. which we're going to cut. However it is now, it's probably, I guess, because I don't really have a real... You want it to just cut. be like a nice, even, blunt cut. Sure. Yeah. I mean, not many people, especially men, get too ambitious with layering, um, especially because you have like curly, wavy hair. I feel like... Well, I think it's because I, I just uh, put it in a bun. I just wash it. Oh, so it's a little more... I can, it smells delicious. Um, <laughs> I need it. Right? Yeah, what, so it's what's the edible. best kind of shampoo? What, what do you use here? Well, so there are actually quite a few vegan products coming out, but yeah. my favorite is what I carry. It's called Loma. Loma. Um, so it's organic. It's cruelty-free, vegan. The ingredients you can actually read and understand. Um, I like that it's made in the U.S. and I like that it's affordable. A lot of products that are vegan and organic are very expensive and me, as much as my clients don't want to spend that kind of money, like $30 for an 8 ounce bottle of shampoo oh. is it's a little pricey. <laughs> and you know, especially after they're in here spending $100 to get their hair colored or you know, it's just trying to be reasonable but yeah. find really good products. So I love Loma for a lot of reasons. Um, I'll have to reach out to Loma. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll get some free stuff. I put a bunch of the Loma um, products in the 
I don't know which ones they went in, either the volunteer swag bags or the swag bags we gave out to the first hundred people at VegFest. So a bunch of people got to try Loma, I just don't know who. I think I Craig right here to my left. I did? I think, yeah. no, you and Kara came in and said you were like the cutoff, like you guys were the last. Oh, you missed oh, it? Oh, no, I actually came there early for the yoga and then Kara was there oh, with the cutoff. Okay. She was like two people ahead of her. Was the, uh, last, got it, yeah. was the last one that yeah. got the bag. <laughs> yeah. I know it was like it was such a good, bad problem to have because <laughs> yeah. there were so many people staring at us with like puppy dog faces like, but where's my bag? And yeah. we're like, but we didn't expect so many people to be here. We're so sorry. <laughs> we only have a hundred. So this is, that's the length it's going to be? I'm going to scoot it a little bit. I just start with it a little bit higher okay. so that when I can move all the... I just hope I can pull it back still. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So if your hair is like here, you yeah. can still pull it back. And it's not going to be this short. Because I can't bury, like, getting them all even right now is not going to happen. So I, I eyeball it and then I scoot them where they need to be. Gotcha. I'm a very... Um, gentle modest hairstylist like i'm not going to chop you or edward scissor hand you i promise Probably. like if people are like i just want to trim i'm like yeah that, just that, a trim okay <laughs> I, like it will be just a trim that's my experience experience is when i go to get a haircut is say I, I don't really want a lot taken off and then they, they butcher yeah and you're like yeah. oh wow i left with a totally brand new haircut so. i was telling craig in the car um a long time ago i went to get my hair just kind of Styled, but no length taken off, and I left with a haircut like Craig has right now. Yeah, and it's not the haircut I asked for either. Oh dear. That's the one I got. I, I mean, it's not a bad haircut. It could, could be worse. You know, I had the same experience, and as a female, it was quite traumatic. I mean, I chose to have my hair this short now, thank God. <laughs> but I, I went in and asked for a hairstyle, um, kind of like shoulder length, and I ended up not kidding with this hairstyle, but it was very masculine, like almost like a military cut. And I did it at the mall, and of course, don't I run into like three people from high school? And they didn't even, they're like, Amanda? <laughs> is that you? And I'm like, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm traumatized. Yeah, it was, it was very embarrassing. So I think we've all had a nightmare haircut, but I try to avoid that as best as I can. I know hair grows back and I get it, but it's still who we are. And Yeah, and it takes you know a long I mean? time. Like it took Absolutely. seven years for this. And I mean, yeah. I like it long, but I think it's too long now. So I would imagine it's probably a little bit hard for you to yeah, I don't want I usually have it pulled back or something, um, but right. it's, you know, it gets a little difficult now when it's so long when, when I'm sleeping. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. I've never had hair this long, so you are experiencing something I have not. This is the only time I've had hair this long, too, so. <laughs> I was going to say, I think, like, obviously I don't know you all that well, but I watch, you know, your videos and things like that. I don't think I've ever seen a photo of you with short hair. Yeah, it was. Are a, they even out there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, right. For the majority of my life, I had a buzz cut. Oh wow! So, so it, this is like different. Yeah. I was in Flashback Friday post on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After you do the donation, you should be like, "This is me now. Well, this is me then." After well, no. You know what? I no. This is gonna be even better, you guys. <laughs> um, check yeah. out my Instagram if you're watching this video. My dad. I went through. I went to my parents' house and I found all these old photos. I have photos of my first haircut ever. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, we can snap like Much well, like this, I won't. minus the beard. <laughs> minus the beard. <laughs> beard. How long have you had a beard for? Oh, it just comes and goes. I'm just, I'm lazy and I don't like to shave. So oh, okay. It, when it gets a little bit too, I mean, if you go back like a month and a half, I didn't have a beard, but then I would gotcha. grow again. Who are we donating it to, or do you know? Well, so that's your call. Like I said, we, when we briefly talked at the VegFest, um, both are great companies, but um, Pantene does donate to anybody, whereas Locks of Love is very picky, and they also make the people pay for the hair. I don't want to hate on anybody, I'm so I'm not trying to do, <laughs> but um, it's personal preference. I don't, I can't, I can't vouch if either of them obviously are, are vegan or anything like that, but um, it's mainly just to give people hair who, right. for whatever reason, like people who have issues, anxiety, they pull out their hair, um, stress-related issues, anything that's, like, any reason to lose hair, they will honor to give you a, a wig. Where I believe Locks of Love is more of like if you have cancer or certain autoimmune diseases and that's it. Okay. So, I, I and I know there are a lot of people, I actually have met some people that suffer from where they pull out their hair to the point where like they've had to grow it all back. So, I mean, 
it's pretty traumatic, you know, and people are very affected by it. So I'm like, that is kind of a cool thing to know that anybody can get the hair. They don't have to have a as severe of a diagnosis as somebody else. Yeah. That's Craig, what was the, the um, agency you guys... On uh, Wigs for Kids. Wigs for Kids. Do you know that one? No, but I, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is your hair. You get to <laughs> donate it to whoever you want. That's how long it's going to be. All right, so we're ready. And it'll be a little bit longer because it's a bit bunched up. So it's okay. It's for a good cause. You're not going to miss it. <laughs> oh, I'll miss it, but it is for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be gorgeous. And it's I don't know if you want to grab this at all before yeah. I chop, but that's kind of what that's lined up to be. Uh-oh. All right, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready, I guess. <laughs> Is it your ready final you your final answer? <laughs> Off we go, bye-bye. There it goes. Yeah, so cute, <laughs> I should name them all. <laughs> oh, okay. Huey, Dewey, Louie. <laughs> what are all the seven dwarfs? Here's a question for you guys, name the two Craig, you're not allowed because I already did this question for you. I'm so, scooting over here. Okay. Sorry. The only two of the seven dwarves whose names don't end in a Y. Go, Amanda. Oh, boy. I actually don't remember. You already asked me that uh, like two don't years ago and I don't remember. Me. All right, people at home, your computer, I'll give you a few more seconds before I tell the answer. Wait, give me a second. Dump. Oh, Dumpy. That's not it. Dumpy. Dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like dump. Dumpy, and, that, dumpy. and that is with a Y, too. That's the new... Um, Seven door. That's the eighth dwarf okay. between Grumpy and Dopey. <laughs> Grumpy, Dumpy, and Dumpy, <laughs> Dumpy, Frumpy. Yes, I crazy. I, Whoa! All my right, bye bye. Whoa! Look, it looks good already. Oh my god, that you was so touch, easy. You want to hold it? That's the last of my hair, guys. There's one. There's Whoa. a couple strands over there. That's. Somebody's gonna be like go. having hair on their head now. Yeah, like I always <laughs> wanted to be a redhead. There we go. Oh, is it red? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought red it was brown. Auburn? We'll yeah, go with Auburn. You got a really nice color hair. Uh-huh. Just, just going to be honest. There we go. That's it, guys. Uh, it my is. hair is gone. <laughs> so if I decide not to do this anymore, it's too late. There's my hair. That's all she wrote. It looks like my hair back in 2014. We're taking, what, five years off my, right there. Yeah. I'll put it over here. This is, this is worth keepings. something. Somebody's going to wear my hair now. <laughs> Okay. All right, so. That's, that's good, right? Absolutely. No, it's <laughs> uneven. Um, it's uneven? I mean, I could, can it still go, let's see if I can still do this. No, we are evening your hair out. <laughs> you have come to the most OCD hairstylist <laughs> in Syracuse, New York. So what I'm going to do oh, is. Wait, can I see if I can still yeah, bun it? You, I promise you, you can. All right, we're going to bun this. We're going to see if we can still do it. Yeah, you can't have crooked hair. Not with my name on it. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, this is different. Oh, wait, there you go. I'm gonna have to find a new way to bun it. I'll, I'll <laughs> figure it out. So if you, I can help you with that. I'm just gonna do really quickly, just rinse your hair out because that that can't be there. But then you'll be good. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Welcome to Halloween and uh, Green Group. I'm gonna lift up your back for me real quick. All right, guys. We uh, we cut my hair. We did it. Um, you're when you're ready. Okay, I'm going back and getting my hair. What? What are we doing? We're, well, it, I don't have to wash it. We're rinsing stuff out. I don't have to wash it. Yeah, I'm just going to rinse it so it's easier. So take a look at my eco-friendly um, shower head. Yep, that's where it's at. Just got that two days ago. Doing what I can. Yeah, so we're, I'm just going to even your hair out. and. Uh, Guys, I'm a whole different person. What was the name I came up with for the seven doors? Dumpy? Dumpy. Oh, yeah. Bashful and Doc. Wait till you go to shampoo your hair for the first time. It's gonna be weird, right? It's gonna freak you out. Yeah. But it's easier to, to comb and brush through now because it's not so long. I was gonna say, think about all the shampoo you're gonna save. I know. And I only wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. Oh, that's perfect. It's so hard to tell people to do that. But when I meet people that do, I'm like, yes. You know, I don't like how my hair feels if I do it every day, so. Yeah, you're, well, you know, you're stripping that oil right yeah. out of your, your scalp, so it's like, some, it's, it's a hard concept to explain and understand, but people are like, you know, no matter what I do, I wash my hair so much, it's still oily. I'm like, well, think about it. You're stripping out your natural oils, so it keeps overproducing to compensate for always stripping that out. Yeah. So you're, it's like a perpetual issue, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about bedhead when you have long hair. No, especially when you can just pull it back, like you said, you know, put it in a bun, do yeah. it in like something that's, you just go. Craig, are you growing your hair out? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, what do you what do you think's on the uh, next hairstyle horizon for uh, you? 
John Krasinski style haircut. Right? John Krasinski. Like Why Jim do I? Helper on the Office. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> are you being serious? Or are you kidding? No, I'm serious. Yeah. Oh nice. <laughs> and who are you being for uh, Halloween, Craig? Prison Mike. Prison Mike. Prison Mike. <laughs> there you go. And I never got caught. And I never got caught either. <laughs> oh, you are in prison. Oh. But still, I mean, your hair is still longer than mine's been since high school, so. This is the second longest mine has ever been. Really? Right, I'm going to go right behind him. Well, the first longest, it just was, but now it's not. <laughs> wow, this is so weird. It's got, I mean, I wonder how this much, you probably lost like two pounds of hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do one more little thing and then you are good to go. Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. <laughs> yeah, his uh, came up to like right here. Yeah. It's yeah. important to have good posture. So wait, no one told me, like, do you guys have any fun plans for Halloween? I would assume it's one of your... No, way, Craig's having a party. Most yeah, anticipated times of the year, right? Yeah. Very cool. I did a video on uh, scary stories. True stories. True? Yes. Oh, I got a couple. Oh, we should have been telling scary stories this whole time. It's not too late. What were we thinking? Here, tell me one of your scariest ones while we're still on film. Well, I mean, it was scary for me, but um, <laughs> I don't know if it was for others, but I was home by myself, and long story short, I was watching my parents' house, and uh, a bunch of crazy things started to happen, so the carbon monoxide alarm kept going off every night around 3 in the morning or so, and there was nothing wrong with it, because we called Nye or Mohawk to come over and check it, and they're like, it's brand new. My cell phone had weird things happening. The one morning I was trying to get up, I've never seen a phone do it before. It was like pixelated and almost like rainbow. Ooh. Looks like I had cracks in my screen. And my phone wouldn't do anything. It was stuck that way. Then I was home watching a movie and I hear the most earth shattering and my boyfriend Chris was there with me so he can vouch for this. We were terrified. We thought somebody plowed through like the side of our house. Like there was a hole. We didn't know what was going on. That loud of a noise. Walked around, saw nothing. So we're like, okay, that's great. He laughs, by the way. I was terrified, and so is he. So he went home. He's like, I gotta go. My mom needs my help. I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. So then I, the last thing that happened was I was going down. We had our basement connected to our kitchen. I went downstairs to do the laundry, and we had, like, like heavy drawers, like these. They don't open by themselves. Yeah. I hear, like, smashing, and I'm like, oh, my God, I gotta walk up the stairs. Like, I don't want to know what this is. All the cabinets were open. And like the windows were closed because it was winter. I was home by myself. That's like paranormal activity. Yeah, and so what I found out was my great aunt passed away while my parents were gone and I was watching their house, but they didn't tell me. And so I'm convinced that it was her in the house. So someone told me to talk to her hmm. and I was just like, Aunt Virginia, like if that's you, can you stop? Because you're scaring the hell out of me. Like, Did you it know. stop mm -hmm. at that point? Yeah, wow. it stopped. It stopped, and then um, my boyfriend's father passed away um, a couple years ago, and I think he's in our house. So, like, my glasses were on the table, and they just fell off without, like, anyone touching them. Like, on the middle of a table. No windows open, and my glasses were on the floor. Sounds like you got some paranormal activity going on. Yeah, they moved the remote. My mom was there with me. I'm just going to scoot right here put these down. Um, my mom was in the house with me, and we were looking for the remote for half an hour, and then all of a sudden it showed back up on the coffee table when we both walked away. Wow. The blinds open by themselves. So yeah. was he a trickster in his day? He, yeah, he was very much like, all right, there's he my goofed hair. around a lot. <laughs> so. You feel like a new man? I am. I'm, this isn't me anymore. <laughs> I like it. I Thanks. think it's like, it's it's nice, it's healthy, it's not taking over like your face, like we can still see you. That's me, that's yeah, short hair Chris. it's not overwhelming. <laughs> Normally this would be probably hair. long for most people, but this is short hair Chris, <laughs> right? This is long haired Amanda, I need a haircut. Long hair Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Like, like it's not, all my hair is gone, like it's gonna be weird, wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're gonna, it's gonna be like definitely different, but it's still long and and if you are in Syracuse and you want your hair done at a vegan salon, Organic, come here. Come see me. I'm and nice. Where are you located? Erie Boulevard? Erie Boulevard in Marshalls Plaza, uh, right next to Moe's. And I believe we're in between the ski company, which is and opening. What soon. was the name again? Salon? So we're inside Sola Salons, but I'm Green Root Organic inside. So it's an individual studio. We all have our own studios here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quiet. It's calm. It's private. We can rock out to whatever music you like. We donated this hair right here. There's at least a foot. Yeah. And we're donating it to Wigs for Kids. Yeah. 
We think that was the best choice. We already sent it in, and it's all we just have to deliver it now. Sign, seal, delivered. Going to the post go. office. So awesome. I guess that's it for real. That's all that's I it. need to do to conclude this video. Thanks to Craig for filming this. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.